Hello everyone, welcome to another set of the week. I'm Ferdinand the Carverage Stacker, and this set of the week we're going to look at Legend of Final Banners, a very unique set that features no special abilities, but star rank, uh, very high star rankings. So let's go ahead and take a look at each card. Well, maybe not this time because all, all of the abilities actually, there's actually no abilities in, on the card. So we're just going to head and skip through it. The, and I'm, I'm not going to even base it on synergy because uh, usually the promos don't have very good synergy with each other. Kind of hard to manage that uh, unless you, of course, know what the promos is. But for this particular set, the synergy is not very good. But um, it, that's actually pretty irrelevant for what this pack is all about. So, but I think what this pack is all about is... First, collections, and this is great for collections because uh, 10 star ranking, this is probably the only deck that features 10 star ranking. So you can, um, this is just an extra card that you, if you know that's out there, you can just um, get it and you have another card for your collections. But speaking of collections, um, while most of the cards do feature all the, all six different type of elements, if you're looking for a type collections, there's only three of them, citizens, soldiers, and mages. So, um, two of each in this deck, but um, that's if you want to know about that. As far as the core set go, um, my versatility rating is going to be pretty average. I don't think there are much cards, let alone just the cards that actually clash in there. I mean, it's a great defender card if you're going to use it that way um, for things like that. But um, I, I can't really figure out a good use with it with uh, some of the cards in the core set. So, that's why it has an average rating. Now let's go ahead and move over. It has any compatibility with any of the other sets that you can find out. Um, I like comp uh, putting this with any of the clashing decks. Uh, for example, uh, Fist of Steel and Seven Minor Mowdown. They have pretty good um, ways you can clash with people, especially a high ten, um, high star, the high star ranking. Um, I think it works actually a little better in for some master sets like Hell to Pay. Hell to Pay does a lot of cards that deal with the previous card has been played so um, the higher the card uh, the more chances you, um, the more chances it will, will get flipped for um, those effects so you want higher cards in hell to pay because those cards flip once you play them um, in that sequence so uh, look for that and also millennium masters great great for millennium masters if you're trying to build all that star ranking um, especially if you want to get broken <laughs> broken is kind of a very odd card um, if you're going to, it's kind of hard to buy a lot of these cards, even though there's 10, you have to have at least four. For me personally, I think it's a little weak uh, for a tech, uh, a, your deck, unless you really want to go for broken. I, I don't see why if you want to do that, but it's just, you know, 30 points. Um, but uh, is, is that something you want to do? That's uh, up to you. Maybe perhaps uh, Galactic Caboose, that actually boosts your star power. Um, and I do want to mention that um, it, this is actually fine for if you're playing with Fulton. It just gives you a little bit more points for that because Fulton's uh, ability is if you're going to uh, use his ability for the tournament, um, any higher stuff, as long as the card is higher, uh, has a higher star ranking than any of the cards in your opponent's tables, then you get 10 RP, which is not too bad, but if you keep building up that way, it um, could be good, but... For a card that doesn't do anything, it's still pretty weak for me. All right, and that's all I have to say about this pack. It's I'm gonna give this like an average rating, so um, I'm gonna start a new grade for these. So this is uh, not a set that I want to grade on based on like the same grading I would base the um, expansions, premiums, and masters. This is gonna have a different uh, rating, and I'm gonna give this a good rating. This is kind of based on how well with how well does it do with the core set and uh, how well does it kind of overall do with the other sets so i'm gonna give this a good which is pretty average but um, what i do like about this is that uh, it's a good way to build up collections if you're doing for that and also it's good for clashing and defending for your uh, cards in the tournament but unfortunately it doesn't have special effects but you know that's the payoff for this big card and so that's all i have to say for the legend of final badass and if you want to see more videos like these, like for other sets and also any other gaming videos, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That's the Cardboard Stacker. You can follow me on Twitter and you can also support our channel at Patreon. Until next time, see you later, bladers.